Streets in the Latvian capital Riga lined with election posters for next week's parliamentary vote. Polls ahead of the election show strong support for the country's pro-Russian party, despite wider regional fears of the former Soviet master reignited by Moscow's aggression toward Ukraine. Latvians will vote for a new parliament on October 4th, and according to the latest polls, 21% of Latvians say they are ready to give their vote to the pro-Russian Concord party. We believe that we will get uh, the first place and that we will roughly get the same number of members of the parliament as it was during last election, roughly around 30. The Concord Party has been playing advertisements like this to focus more on social democratic issues, but the party is still perceived as representing the large Russian-speaking population in Latvia, which makes up the majority of its voters. We are EU and NATO member country which cannot be altered and changed in any form. Uh, but when we talk about our policy vis-a-vis -vis Russia, I would definitely be more pragmatic. I mean, we have to, when we talk about being pragmatic, that means that we have to use Russian market. We have to deal with Russian tourists. We have to try to earn on being neighbors with Russia. That truly really helps uh, your economy. As the Concord Party has been strengthening ties with Russia, Europe has been trying to distance itself and even protect from Russian expansionism. Following Russia's occupation of Crimea and invasion of Ukraine, Baltic NATO members, including Estonia, received support from their allies, including the deployment of U.S. combat troops and bases on their territories. In this context, it would seem surprising that Concord doesn't hide their affiliation with Putin's United Russia Party. But in fact, it outlines how strong and stable support for the party remains in Latvia. The fact that Niels Usakovs refused to terminate the agreement with United Russia, claiming that it would be a channel for a relationship with the political power in Russia, does not contribute to Latvians' voters' trust. That was an attempt to keep part of the Russian voters who like what Russia is doing. Ethnic Latvians represent 62% of the country's 2 million residents. Almost 27% are Russians and more than 5% are Belarusian-Ukrainian-Russian speakers. The majority of the non-Latvians in the country get their information from Russian TV channels, most of which are controlled by the Kremlin. It is alarming because I had hoped that most of Latvia's Russian speakers would evaluate their attitude towards Putin and Russia after this Ukrainian conflict. But as we can see, only a small part has done that. Why? Because they live in the sphere of Russian TV channels which depict everything from just one side, which serve disinformation and propaganda. Of course, it influences domestic policy. Earlier this year, Latvia banned Russian TV for just that, spreading propaganda. The ban, though, has reportedly not been enforced, and Russian propaganda could be a factor when Latvians go to the polls on October 4th.